Over 18 here today, and I'm sure today I'm showing you how to make like custom stickers for your Lego creation. Lego for Chris has told some people, but I have a different way, and people have asked me how do I make custom stickers. Mine aren't nearly as nice as his, but so I'll show you. So like today I'm doing this for my corner gas mock. So first you go to Google or whatever browser you use, and you type in what you want. And here's the, I have the picture of it because I'm recreating one of the logos, but I find the logo I want or find the picture I want to make the sticker of. Right here is the one I used. So I'll go back to Word and I just copy and paste it into Word. Now I'm gonna go get my Lego. I'm gonna measure it in centimeters and then so say it's 10 centimeters long. It's not but so I double click it here and it over in this corner here it says how long I want it to be and how wide and stuff. So then I can enter in those measurements and get it to size and then I'm gonna print it and I'm going I'm gonna finish do my sizing up now because it's gonna be really hard to do while holding the camera and then I'm going to show you actually how I do it personally so I'll be right back so I'll see you in a sec so I'm back and I have my stickers printed this one's not to scale I haven't even built the sign that's supposed to be on yet but I've got my store logo and the Ruby logo so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear spots and I'm actually gonna do it kind of here. I don't have a table or I show you there. I do have a table, but it's been used. I'm going to take this cutter and I'm going to line it up. This won't be the best camera angle, but. And then see, it cuts it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it this way now. Put that aside for now. So I just do all the cuts I need to do. And then the, the, this is, it's really simple to do all these cuts. Like it's just a cutter, like anybody can buy one. In fact, I know I have two in my house. This one and another, three actually, four. Yeah, four, because my mom has a scrapbooking cutter. So I have my store printed. Now I'll just, or not print, printed and cut. So now I'll just finish slicing the ruby one. And if you want to cut it, go online and search cutter. You can probably find a really good one for a good price. Got to be careful with this one. So now there are my there are my signs printed. Now I've just got to get this. And in case you don't know what this is, it's a sticker machine. Pull that out here. I hope I don't run out of stickers. I had this thing since April. And I haven't changed the sticker thing yet that makes them stick. So. And there's only a little bit. So, what I do is I take my store sign, I stick it through here to the very back. And I turn it, and I keep turning it, and I cut it off, and there it is. My store, it's on sticky. Now, I'm going to trim down the ruby thing, but I'm not going to do that on video. I just realized I need to do some trimming. I forgot when I printed it. So what I'm going to do now, just so you can see how it works a little bit, there's my mock right here. That no, wait. And this is where the stickers store the store sticker is gonna go. So I'm gonna take take the label off, and I'll I'm gonna stick it kind of. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna take it right off. You know why? I just knocked over the F. Knocked over the F. So I just realized this would be so much easier. I forgot I designed it so it could actually come off. So it will leave some residue, maybe on the bricks, potentially, but you're gonna have to and I just folded this here, but so this is hard because I'm O C D and like everything's centered and I can't even build something really half the time if it's not centered. Just look at some of my mocks. Everything's the same. So there it is. 
that's going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to have to get some scissors and get that off there. But I won't do it during this video. But that's how you do it. So it's really easy. Um, here's the sticker machine one more time. Great little tool. I probably, I don't know, I got it for Easter, so. Great little thing. And it is a Zextron, Axtron, Exitron, whatever it is. So thanks for watching this video by Brooklover18 about how to create custom stickers. And yeah, Lego for Chris did this also. So please nobody comment that you copied Lego for Chris because I won't be doing city updates anymore because Lego for Chris, I'm copying him. Everybody that does the city is copying Lego for Chris, which really sucks because like I had my city update started before he even got YouTube, so which it, it sucks the fact that I can't do them anymore, so I'm really sorry that I can't do those anymore. So yeah, please don't tell me I'm copying Lego for Chris because I'm pretty sure I've made some custom stickers before Lego for Chris has done them. I'm not saying he copied me or anything. I'm just saying two people can have the same idea because, yeah, let's face it, we stole it from Lego having stickers. Thanks for watching BrickLover18 and have a great day. You know, I was joking about the city updates. Nobody's going to get me to stop them for you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.